Hello and uh, welcome back. Today I'm going to play a little bit with the uh, voltage reference and I announced it already a few times. That is the LN399 and uh, well I've shown you lots of reference already if you check down my videos. Uh, well the AD584 is a famous one. Uh, there was one based on uh, high precision uh, senior diets or current sources. They called them the AD585, but that was not from uh, analog devices. And uh, this one has a good name, the LN399. Uh, so uh, let's have a look what it does. Oh, I forgot to tell you, because usually these come uh, with or a battery and a nice box. Well, this doesn't have a nice box, but it does have a nice metal box to keep the heat inside, I think, to keep it more stable. Uh, supply voltage is also not 12, it's 15. So that is uh, also a little bit different, but of course no problem, but it would have been nicer if it was on 12 volt. But I know there are these little step-up converters from USB to, and well, you can set those to 15 volt, maybe with a few uh, caps to make it stable, and then we can put it in a nice box. I will see. First, let's see how it performs. Okay, well, here is my uh, setup. Um, I put there a little uh, banana to B and C because it has an SMA here. And uh, this is also good because little distortions also just are, well, it's harder for the little distortions to get into this cable. Um, as I said, it needs 15 volt, it's right there. And it has been switched on now for at least uh, half an hour, maybe even 40 minutes. Uh, it needs to be supplied with 15 volts. I have exactly 15 volts there. Let me zoom in on that. Here is uh, 15 volts. And the voltage is does have an influence. I'm not sure it's because of the heater inside. I think there is a little often. Um, so with less voltage, it is heated a little bit less. So that could have the influence, but it is not that big actually. Because if I go to 14 volts, you see a slight drop, but one volt of difference is a lot. And 16 volt also, it goes a little bit up, but not too much. So it needs to be 15 volt. I have that and uh, written down on the device, it's, it should be 9.96325. Well, you see we are there. So that is correct, but we can also do other voltages by uh, changing the jumpers. And uh, yeah, don't forget, now it is spot on, but temperature will always be an issue. Uh, the longer I'm here in this uh, room, the temperature will slowly rise because of all the machines that are switched on. Uh, so that will always be an influence on this last digit. Okay, um, we are now on the on the 10 volt setting. Um, but they also say here they calibrated two and a half, uh, five and 7.4. Uh, so let's try the two and a half. So we need to do the five, six, seven and eight. So five, six, seven and eight. And 11, 11 and 12. So this should be 2.5. It is, and they say they calibrate it on there 6.5 that it should be 3.49314. So it is a little bit low. So I don't know how they did that because the 10 was uh, spot on. This one is just not. So, or they just write down whatever they like, or that meter was not that good. Then we also have four volts which was not in the list. So I don't know to reference with that. So we go to the five volts. That is five, six, seven, eight. So that is this one. This should be five. And according to their meter, that was 4.98511. So this one is also low, 30 micros. Yeah, also a little bit low. That's weird because the higher one was spot on. We have six volt, but they have no value. And we have seven and a half. That is three, four, five, six, seven. So that would be this one. And 
and then they said it would be 7.47461 so the yeah that is 16 my 600 micros almost a micro uh, almost a millivolt so i don't know how they did this let's just have a closer look at the device itself i try to open it let's see if i can do that without breaking it it seems to be just to be pushed on yes it is okay there it is let's have a better look i'm putting it under my microscope so well it indeed seems to be the lm399 it's the h version and also i see here and that is the lt101 and i think i know that one from the dmm check plus this would be then the buried scener diode and with the dmm check plus they cut oh, the traces around the ic just to uh, to make it less sensitive for temperature i see that the soldering is not that good here in, here is missing and we can have some more solder there in the same here here they try to fix a bit but here it's not done at all so maybe if we fix those maybe it will be better yeah in the bottom it seems to be soldered yeah they did a dirty job well great opportunity also to test my uh, t3a i think i already have the smallest point on it can I reach it? Yes. That is fine. I put it a little bit closer so I have a better view also on the screen here. Okay. Okay. Power. There it is. It's hot. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay. Let me see if we can fix it a little bit. Okay. Even though I do have the microscope, it is very little in real life. But I like the pointy point. That is a bit much. Only the last one doesn't look that good. okay yeah we can clean that also a bit let me get some ipa i'm just using this uh, cut and sticks or q sticks with a little bit of uh, ipa alcohol just to try to take out the old flux and dirt. Okay. It seems to be a little bit better. The bottom the same because that looked really ugly. Okay, well, cleaning it up uh, didn't make any difference. It is still uh, too low because it should be. Uh, Two four nine three one four, 
and but we can see it is still uh, still a bit off it's not that much but yeah on the other setting on the 10 volt it was kind of good this one four five six and this one yeah this was two five it has dropped a little bit but it was switched off so let me make it a little bit hotter you will see so this is just a temperature issue this is close so that's weird only the 10 volt setting was uh, kind of correct the other value seemed to be written down from another device or i don't know what i did um i'm just doing a, a, a check again with my uh, ad 584 and uh yeah this one is just just better because this should be 38 so that is okay it's it's just switched on uh, if I go to the next setting, this is 9.7, so it's only a little off. Here, this should be 2.7, a little off, and this is 5.5. Five. So this yes is much more effective on the other values. Well, and it's slowly going up because it is not switched on long so it will be even better after a while and and the lm399 or this one is not good or the guy who wrote down the values it just doesn't make sense only the 10 volts was sort of matching so that was a little test well you could see probably from my video i'm not necessarily very impressed at least a component could be good the lm399 but the calibration sheet that i provided uh, yeah it didn't make sense only on the 10 volts which was actually 9.96325 and that one was close enough that was really close but uh so if you like a multi-voltage voltage reference maybe this uh, ad584 could be something uh, because it has four voltages and there are different versions you have the the k and the l and even an h version and the h version is even better on the temperature if you can spend a little bit more than these uh, lbo2a i can really recommend i've set it now to four volts as you can see and look this one is just very close and it can also do do current so if we if we do a current measurement let's do that uh, milliamps it's now on four milliamps uh, I need to set it of course also here look this is a uh, reason to be four and it can also do uh, ohms but uh, you can see my other video about this but I just want to show you it that the LM in that sense is not necessarily very good yes 20 ohms 20 ohms I also uh, had questions can you show me all your voltage reference and other references that you have in the video so I think uh, that one is uh, also coming but uh, so far it is for the LM399 thank you for watching and hope to see you next time